decided to have a go at naturals because I thought that that might give me a better chance. Finally decided to cast in. The coots have been diving on my spot. It was a very predictable night last night. I had coots diving on me until maybe until it went dark. Well, I'm back down fishing on the mid Kent waters. Uh, things have definitely changed since the last time I was here. Autumn is uh, getting along nicely. <laughs> uh, the leaves are falling off. A lot of the weed has gone actually in the lake. Um, quite a lot, to be honest. There was so much weed in this swim before, um, I couldn't even get in here at all. Um, I saw a few people did try and rake it out and um, I didn't even attempt to do it because I could see people trying uh, in here and um, not getting very far. It was really thick and uh, pretty much where the weed started really. So it's been a while since I've been in this swim. Uh, you know, I've been looking around to see if I can see anything. Um, but the majority of the time it's actually early morning where you start seeing them. I little led around to try and find out what was in front of me. Um, there's quite a lot of big trees and snags at the back and um, that's quite a good feature in this swim. I caught my first carp from here on, on this exact swim. I kind of knew where I was roughly going to go. I thought I'd find out because there's been a lot of weed in the lake so I just and a lot of silt to be honest um, so I'm just trying to find out what was out there there's like three trees out there. there's one big tree that's leaning over one little one and then there's one that's sort of on the end it's sort of a dead tree that's leaning in the water it's quite a big feature along the far side so I started leading around to the right and I was trying trying to aim between the sort of the middle one because that's the one I had to bite from when in spring um, it's the last time I managed to get into this swim and it was really silty and really weedy so I started casting it around to the left uh, between the trees and it's actually clear it's sort of got an edge on one tree and it's clear all out in the gap and then there's, it's clear just on the corner of the next one so my plan is to probably pop one to the right and one to the left so they're both next to these trees um, but I might actually put some bait in between because it's firm all the way along so um, yeah, that's probably gonna be my plan for that spot. I've already put in a couple of spawns. I just wanted to see what the birds were gonna do because I've had problems the last couple of sessions with coots, constantly diving on the spot. Yeah, so I put some bait in and they're diving all over it. They're absolutely loving it. I did think they'd be able to see it as clearly as they would um, with like boilies and uh, pellets and stuff like that but um, they clearly are seeing the spot. I've decided not to bother casting in because I'm just going to get picked up by coops constantly. I might wait until it gets a little bit dark um, and then put some more bait in and I probably will cast the rods in then. Um, because I'm not getting cooted like last time. Last time they wouldn't stop right until just dark and then they stopped completely. And then the tension took over. So uh, yeah, I definitely think I'll probably get attention in the night. You never know, you know, waiting it out maybe and putting a bit of bait in, even though the coots are diving on it. It may just bring in those carp in and um, less disturbance in the swim. Uh, you never know, but um, I'll start by casting the rods in and then I might put some bait in just on dark. So. Um, yeah, hopefully I won't get cooted this time. Until the morning and then they'll coot <laughs> they'll be all over me like crazy. So um yeah, hopefully um something happens when I eventually cast out. <laughs> My rigs uh, for this session is going to stay the same. I've got a helicopter tubing set up on Ronnie rigs for both of them. I've also um, changed my hook baits for this session and my bait that I'm baiting up over the top. Now, um, previously I've been doing boilies, I've been doing pellets, and I've only really had one. Um, I tried a bit of parkour as well, and that didn't really pay off that well. Um, I just got tension. Um, birds diving on me so that didn't really work that well. I decided to fish with naturals this time and I'll probably be doing it continuously over the autumn and into the winter. Um, I think that's going to be my best chance, going to be less naturals in the lake and hopefully the carp will be a bit more um, less cautious on it and hopefully I'll get a few more bites. That's my hope anyway. My hook bait is going to be maggots 
but I kind of want it to sit off the bottom a little bit. I don't want it to go too close to the bottom. I want it to have a little bit of buoyancy to it. So I've got a half, a homemade dumbbell pop-up, um, which I've just trimmed a little bit off of it. And um, I'm gonna tip that off with maggots. Sorry, I'm just watching birds on my spot. Yeah, coots are diving all over it. I'm gonna be tipping it off with maggots, so that will add a little bit extra weight to it. Um, plus it's on the Ronnie rig so it's quite heavy so it's more likely going to be a wafter um, because they're only small the little dumbbells that I've got. My spawn mix is actually two different mixes. Um, I've got one is casters, crushed up boilies and um, what I've done is I've put them in water because uh, casters tend to float when they dry out so putting them in water will stop them from doing that. Also, um, I've put in some molasses inside that as well, just to add a bit more darker colour to the to the casters as well as um, the crushed up boilie I put in there. Um, I'm trying to avoid the birds from diving on me, so I'm trying everything. I put just put a few half boilies in there as well, uh, and the other mix is actually maggots, a little bit of ground bait crushed up boily and I've put a few small little pellets in there as well. The thinking behind doing both is the fact is that I'm going to be fishing with maggots as my hook bait um, and I didn't want to just feed casters and then fish with maggots on the hook bait. If the coots that turn out to be diving on the maggots, which I think they may be, I'm not entirely sure, I'm probably going to stop feeding maggots and just feed the casters next time. I come down, that's the reason I'm playing around with it and into that sort of mid-autumn into winter so I'm just seeing what's going to happen on, on the lake um, um, but at the moment I'm going to try both and uh, I'm going to put in a lot more bait in just before it gets dark um, I put in about five two on each spot and then one in the middle between it and then probably I'll probably put in another maybe I don't know I, I reckon I'm probably going to put in another five or six. I'm going to spread it between where the rigs are going to go and between it as well. So there's like a bait line in between each area because it's quite clear all along there and I think I'm just going to spread it as much as possible. Um, so hopefully when a carp comes past he sees that and dives down and has a good munch. Hopefully. It's been a couple of hours, finally decided to cast in. The coats have been diving on my spot that I put a little bit of bait in constantly. They've just started to slow down in their dives on the spot. Either they've eaten most of the bait, or absolutely crazy, it was diving on it constantly. That's the reason I decided not to put my rigs in just yet. I thought I'd give it a good couple of hours and see what happens. I haven't really seen any carp or anything. I wasn't expecting to see anything, to be honest, until the morning. Um, I might hear some carp splashing or jumping down further down the lake, maybe in the middle of the night or something, because that usually happens uh, pretty much every session I've been on. I've heard carp jumping in the middle of the night. Not going to bait up until at least about half an hour before it gets dark. That's when the uh, coots tend to just drift off and um, go somewhere else, either in, hide in snags or uh, go to sleep really. Usually they do um, go away from the spot. Um, and then I've got some bait in. It's going to be slightly uh, colder on the night. Um, today wasn't that bad in temperature wise and it was, the sun was out, it was quite nice, but um, tonight's going to be a little bit cooler. Um, I'm not entirely sure if that's going to make a difference or not. Um, but you know, I'm in it to win it, I suppose. Um, rigs are in now and um, bait's going to follow suit and hopefully um, by the morning I'll have a nice carp. Let's hope.
very predictable night. Last night, um, I had coots diving on me until maybe until it went dark, and then they went off, which I kind of expected them to go off by then. And then I had tench, which I always expect to get tench at night. It doesn't matter what bait you use, they just pick up anything. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I had a couple of tench, uh, a couple of takes, I think I landed one, yeah, so, so far no carp. I did see one actually, which was quite surprising. About an hour before it got dark, I saw something come up for a leaf, and I was like, oh, that's a carp. <laughs> I was not expecting to see one, but uh, that was it really. He just come up for a leaf and then swam off. So, um, yeah, there has been carp here. Well, they mostly come in here in the morning. Um, they normally swim up the shallows and then into the snags where I am, which is right at the end. Um, this swim did really well in spring, um, so I was hoping it would do well in the autumn. So I was hoping it, would, it was going to do well, but um, nothing so far. But um, there's still a couple of hours left. Never know, it could happen. I could get a carp, I could get a take, and all things hopefully should come to a great ending <laughs> if not oh well I had a good go anyway <laughs> and I came into a swim that I had a bit more confidence in but uh, so far um, I haven't really seen any carp but hopefully they'll come in soon well the coots have been bothering me this morning as well but um, they haven't been bothering me as much um, they did get the ducks to join in for a little while and so far the ducks have gone off and the coots have sort of slowed down uh, they're diving um, I don't think they've eaten all the bait I did put a little bit more bait in as well after I had those tench but that's about it really um, for the old uh, <laughs> this morning and last night really but uh, hopefully something will happen in the next couple of hours and uh, yeah everything should go well hopefully <laughs> Well, I think that's about as much time I'm gonna give it on this session. I've tried a different tactic, I thought it might work. It hasn't paid off for me. I haven't even had another tench or anything and constant diving by ducks and coots has been really frustrating. I think it's gonna be quite a while until I come back, but uh, I have a little thing about what I'm gonna try next and hopefully then I'll catch something. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.